work until someone says we can stop. We hope we have saved enough money to afford the lifestyle we've got used to and enjoy longer holidays and get to travel to those far-flung destinations we'd been dreaming about for so long. But what happens when the clock runs out? What happens when time, once our ally, becomes a fleeting specter? The harsh reality strikes. Good health isn't guaranteed. Many people reach retirement only to find that their bodies are no longer able to withstand the journeys they had planned. The dream of travel, once so vibrant, fades into the shadows as mobility wanes and opportunities slip away. So what if we took a different path? What if instead of waiting for retirement, we dared to embrace our dreams now? Inspired by this realization, this couple decided to break away from the traditional mold. They sold their house, quit their jobs, and made the courageous choice to prioritize living fully in the present over deferring their dreams to an uncertain future. By stepping into the unknown, John and Mandy pursued a life of adventure, focusing not on what they would do someday, but on what they could experience today. They understood that life isn't just about waiting for an elusive tomorrow. It's about creating memories and finding joy and spontaneity while they still have the energy to explore. Every destination becomes a testament to their courage, a reminder that life is too precious to postpone. With each new experience, they gather stories instead of things realizing that the richness of life is found in the moments we seize, the connections we forge, and the adventures we undertake. As they travel through diverse landscapes, they not only explore the world, but also discover deeper truths about themselves and each other. Each challenge they face becomes an opportunity for growth, teaching them about resilience, adaptability, and the boundless nature of love. They come to understand that living fully is the greatest adventure of all. This documentary invites you to consider your own journey. Are you willing to chase your dreams now? Or will you wait for a future that may never come? Witness a story that reminds us all to live boldly, to create memories that will glow brightly in our hearts, and to appreciate every moment before it's too late. So our story starts with me making YouTube videos and this gave me the opportunity to work from home whereas Mandy worked from an office and we both love to travel whether it's local in Amsterdam one of our favorite European cities or getting on a plane somewhere epic in this case San Francisco we'd never been to the west coast of America before and we planned an epic trip got a hire car and just explored as far as we could go in our two week window that we managed to get from our holidays from work. I have to apologize up front for uh, all the footage of trains because I'm obsessed. And, uh, and there's nothing else really, it's just desert and no pretty clouds that look like things that I can uh, try and decipher. Well, when you're in Valley. Yeah. Wow. That was something quite spectacular. Yeah, just a little bit. Even in this epic landscape, there's one thing that we couldn't ignore. All the way back to the airport, we just couldn't wait to get back to our lovely little Springer Spaniel Cooper. And it brought us to a realization point. Whilst we love these holidays, but why don't we do something where we can take Coop with us all the time? So 
it didn't take me long until I found this van. And it didn't take us long, both of us working on it, to convert it to a camper van. It gets around 45 miles to the gallon, something like that. When you drive it. When I drive it. When you drive it, it doesn't, for some reason. <clears throat> the only one with a speeding ticket in the family. Oh, it's expired. In here, we have the only place that was big enough to put in our porta potty. I decided to make it into a stool stool. So this is my stool stool. I can sit on it. So after we'd finished converting the T6, we found that more people were watching our camping videos a lot. The only problem we had was that after using the van and camping for a few months, we realised that we wanted something bigger. We'd started looking about and found that since the conversion, the T6 was worth a whole lot more money. So much so that one day I came home from work to a very excited John, who told me he'd managed to buy a brand new, much bigger van for the same money. I do love a good deal and this was epic. So the camper van is based on a Fiat Giacato van conversion, even got a toilet and a shower. The only thing I need to do is do a few little upgrades to the van so we can make it so that we can survive off grid with more power, ready to look for some adventures. Don't film me daddy. No, it was looking, where's the sea? Can you see it? Can you? Come oops. <laughs> it's the camping song. Oh, it's the recording? Yeah. Yay. Happy with your coffee maker? Oh yes, definitely. Look, coffee power. Actually, there's the coffee power. <laughs> so that's pretty good. It's only just risen as you can see. It's only quarter to 10 in the morning. So we're already getting 60 watts. The battery's recovering nicely after uh, a morning coffee. They're waiting, Loopy. Waiting for mummy in the tat shop. Yeah, what we do all the time, isn't it? Wait for mummy to look around tat shops. Just had a nice walk around Betsy Coed. Why? And um, yeah, buy some, buy some tat, some new walking Who's shoes, from Andy. Pink, the ultimate dog shop. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Yeah, not the best dog shop in the world. No. Dark. No way. Yes. No way, shape, or form. No way, Cupid. No way to do your frisbee. You do. Give, 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 ready. Ooh. <laughs> Lovely view, sorry. Fly away on wings. Hear the distant call. Open up your heart. Catch me if I fall. Oh, oh. You can see some lovely scenery. It is beautiful, yeah. Wales. Wales, to me, goes from being obviously very Welsh and then Scottish and then it's the Lake District and then it's all of these it's literally Great Britain isn't it just yeah. slices of it all rolled into one I do love it the freedom to travel and explore was one thing that we'd never imagined that we'd get from the camper van but actually the biggest thing that we got from the camper van was all the people and doggies that we got to meet along the way all getting together and cooking something when we met up and exchanging stories and exchanging you know destinations of where people like to go that was something that was absolutely fantastic and a complete game changer for us you should have just bought four candles four candles, four candles. <laughs> <laughs> A knife to cut it. That's <laughs> not a knife. That's not a knife. <laughs> Coffee. And Easter egg for breakfast. Easter egg. And the lovely Derbyshire countryside. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Cooper's been a good boy today as well, haven't you, Cooper? Having your breakfast? Yeah. Oh, good boy. Oh, it's a good boy. Mandy's been a good girl. I'm always a good girl. She is, most of the time. <laughs> anyway, from many months of travelling around and 
going exploring places, spending time with the new friends that we'd made. Uh, we found ourselves sat watching a sunset one night and it came up in conversation that maybe uh, this lifestyle was something that we could do permanently. There's probably three really important reasons why we're doing this. Number one is we both have jobs where people only really phone us 95% of the time they only phone us when they've got a problem mm -hmm. and then vast majority of the time they're frustrated the second one is both um, parents sets of parents that we've got kind of saved up to retire and saved up their their ideas yeah. for retirement they are not getting to do what they thought no. that they would be doing at this time of their lives it might work out that this is the only chance that we're going to get to do it and the third one and it's a bit of a weird one the third one for me is we can. If you are ever thinking about doing this when you retire, but you really sit down and think, I could actually do it now. Do it now. Yeah. What did my stepmom say? You might wait for the right time, but the right time might not wait for you. We've got, obviously, lots to do now. So I'm giving myself three months to redo the van. We've got changes to the van. Things that we kept saying we'd put off until later until, on in the year. Yeah, and we're going to do that. So the back end of the van, I've got to rip it out and then do it all as one complete storage bed. So they just put the for sale board up. That's the time that you know you're on your way out of the house. Aya. Aya. We got up at R5 on a Sunday morning mm. to join a queue of traffic. Why are we doing this? It's garbage sale, it's garbage sale. Got to get rid of... Uh... 25 years of um, tat. of tat in that's some way, Manchester, shape or form. It's a Manchester expression for things that you don't necessarily really need, wanted. And maybe shouldn't have bought in the first place. Yeah. Now, I'm quite a shy person, so this perhaps wasn't the most comfortable for me to stand there selling my worldly goods that I know the value because I bought them and they're trying to offer me five pence or ten pence or something that I paid a hundred pound for. It was, was interesting, to say the least. I, on the other hand, loved it. Yes, it did sting a little knowing how much we'd paid for things, but getting to tell people about all the items we were selling was fab, and it turns out I can be quite persuasive too. We did keep some things, though. Personal items, photos and precious things we'd never get again. But we wanted all the rest gone as we knew we'd want to have different things the next time we lived in a house. So as I work from home as an IT consultant, I also had a home studio set up, which I've been making YouTube videos, uh, reviewing gadgets and talking about technology, drones and all the things that I loved anyway. So the biggest challenge for me of all this was to dismantle something that had taken me years to and get right and get the lighting right and everything else. A lot of memories and um, yeah, a lot of thought about what I'd done there and um, yeah, what we were going to be doing next. So how's the kitchen tidy and going bad? Slowly. Where's that going to go in the van though? Where am I going to be open my bottle tops? Cans of beer instead of bottles. Woo! Yeah. So, so whose music collection seems to be really valuable? It appears. Not mine. Alanis Morissette. I've got a penny. <laughs> but my you know, like Eric Clapsons and stuff have been getting like two pounds and stuff like that. So yeah. So we have just found like something that we're not gonna sell. No. Probably because no one would bite it. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, two sort of um, very weird things that people may may not recognise. They're called cassettes. Most played soundtrack to our um. Courting. Courting, yeah. <laughs> and if anybody really knows us, you know the story behind Phil Collins. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And they're just yours. That's all my clothes. There we go, found the base layer over the mountain of clothes to reveal Mandy. At least the uh, spare bedroom's made up for viewings. <laughs> for bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no.
sold the house. But it's all good and it's all go. So exciting. It is. <laughs> Moments. That's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Last day. Mm. This is my desk. And this is where I spend my day. The struggle is real. So I've got to fit. That. In there. Show mine. That's pretty much everything I own. And so. it looks so much better now because when when John had packed it, it's like it gone. Whereas even though this does look a little bit like that, there is a semblance of fold and roll. All lies. All fold. lies. All li fold and roll. All lies. So you now have room for my clothes over there, see? That's it then. Bye house. Until last time. Now, um, that's the house. Oh. Now, that's the house. <laughs> so, off we go. Mm. All right. Cool. About, <laughs> about about being a pain in the uh, So John and I were talking uh, about why everybody we speak to say that they sleep far better in the van and we think it might be the nature of living in a box because you know when you're a kid you're just like building a den and you go in your box and you'll be dead comfy and secure and snuggly so literally we're all driving around in our big dens yeah. that we sleep really well in yeah. I think that rolls quite well Nice trip to Ocean. Oh, hi. Some baguette. Baguette. Supplies. Good. Keep us going. That lets. Oh, yeah. Nucky filled oh. with cheese. Been for a paddle for ages. I get I don't like like fish near my feet. So, so one thing really, why can't you walk on sand with, without it looking like you're drunk? So everyone over here now thinks that Mandy's had ten pints, which you know would be nice. So what are you doing? Well, these I don't want to wear these today. Yeah, what, what are you doing? What are you doing there though? So I'm changing shoes. Because that's now your this is now my shoe, shoe closet. closet. My shoe closet is here. Living in the van, folks. Good morning, Biddy. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm all right. Good. Sunshine. Oh, look. Coffee. It's amazing. I could get used to this. Oh yeah. Why? So we've got Instagram. Instagram beach look. life. Woo! Gorgeous. Woo. Yep. Versus real life. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow will be one entire month since I gave up my job. Yeah. High five. So we're gonna do a run. Right, first past the thingy tower. Yeah. Oh no, to the volleyball thing. God, that's ages away, but yeah. Yeah. Come yeah. here, Kate. Here. Ready? Here. Come here. Sit. 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 One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop, Sam. Stop, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> so <I'm sad>. <laughs> yeah. oh, I beat Cooper as well. Why are you so fast? <laughs> I beat you, Coopy. Beat you. Uh... Look at that evidence that we tired Cooper out. We found a stick and he's chosen to sit down, bless him. Tail's still going though.
do like sunset. So, what are we having tonight? Tonight, I've, I've kind of peaked too soon by putting these in, um, but we are having pan fried gnocchi. See? Oh, see? Pan fried gnocchi with chicken cordon bleu mm. and leftover um, spackle. Cool. <laughs> which does seem like a very strange combination. It's all good food though. Look. Oh, I just look at that. It's a bit all right, isn't it? Morning. Good morning. How are we doing? I'm all right. Sunglasses on. Sunglasses. And it's 9.44. Yeah. Sun's just rising. Getting solar charge already. Yeah, and right by where the van is, it's just rocks. So it's some lovely rushing. Swooshing noise here. Yeah. the sea, isn't it? Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Come on, man. Mm. <laughs> Sorry if you're watching this and you want churros now. Always park responsibly. Never leave your pet unattended. If you can, find a cow to look after your pet. <laughs> oh, that's cheating! Balls all right. Balls are all right. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Whee! Yay! through the trees as well. Looks like the bar's open. Bonus! You look like a radio presenter. What? Oh, with my microphone? Hey! Uh, hello. Uh, hello! Today I'm introducing you to a beach park up. And I have to say, that bus there is pretty cool. Love that, little sun deck on the top there, bike rack on the back. Absolutely brilliant, love that. Goopy! Anybody want a beer? <laughs> Did you get up? Get the beach? Oh. Anybody need any iron forging? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yes. Oh, it's burning my fingers. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? That good then? Oh, yes. Worth the effort. Yes. We have the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. Mmm. Fry up. Nice little view. And a bar that is open. Yay! Oh, it's lovely and warm today. Really nice. Nice little beach park up. What are you doing? You're saying please. You're saying please. Should we go to the beach, Daddy? Please. Please go to the beach, Daddy. I like the beach. I am a son of the beach, Daddy. Look at that, it's just you to die. Sit. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Never will with kids and dogs, eh? <laughs> Good morning.
had a beeping noise every time we were driving around bends and that. I don't know if you can see. We've been leaking water underneath. So I've just pulled over at the side of the road. It's not the taps at the side, they're bone dry. So not hit anything. Let's have a look underneath. We only filled up yesterday. Oh yeah. Oh. So it looks like all the padding of the tank, all the water's under that. So it looks like we've lost all the water we filled up yesterday. Probably what we need to do in the next couple of days is find somewhere where I can pull over and do a bit of work on the van. So we found a little air. So now we've got to work out how we get some water to fill the tanks up again. And you know, never miss an opportunity to empty the toilet at the same time. And it was at this point that we found out it wasn't just water we needed, it was fuel for our tanks too. Because something called COVID was spreading around the world and England had said that all residents needed to get back as soon as they could before they were locked out of the country. So a little lesson from John, when it's snowing, pay the toll roads. Yeah. If you don't see this content on YouTube, then um, please phone our families. Not funny. Oh. Uh, not funny. So you find us uh, in the uh, wettest of uh, Dunkirk. Yes. Near Le Dyke, yes. which is the home of Poutine. The home of Poutine, of course. Cooper said, we're going to see the vet so he can go back to the UK. We're just about to go under the sea, folks. Under the sea. Under the sea. So that's it, we're back in Blighty. Back in Blighty and the land of unlimited data. Woo! <laughs> we decided quite quickly into our trip that maybe the camper van wasn't the best to live in full time and was still a bit small for our needs, especially with Cooper not being able to get up on the bed or into the van easily. So while we were sat in the sun on a beach in Portugal, we had a look online and found something that looked perfect. So our first stop on our return to England was to look at the Bursner, as we'd had so many people recommend them for being great quality all season vans. And buying it would eventually earn John the nickname of Goldilocks. Hello. 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 How are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> Cooper's just made it up to the bed. He uh, didn't yeah. didn't get asked. Yeah. So at least we on the cheeky side of him. At least we know he can actually make it up there. <sighs> Good morning. It's a bit nippy this morning. I think it got down to freezing again last night. We've been seeing John and Tash from Life Beyond Bricks for the last couple of days. Look who we found! Sitting in the woods in France. Oh no, wait a minute, it's oh, not no. France, is it? It's not France at all. <laughs> Ready. Oh, the good boy. It's, um... It's easier than moving house. No, it's not. <laughs> but it is. Because, I mean, when when do you get to move house and your house is right next door? You've literally got about five steps to your new house. Well, this is all come for already. See, so, you know, this is why we did this. And he's so loving me, isn't he? He's been on the bed already. I don't care about how, how much of a faff this is, just seeing yeah. his little face. So Call me up walk over for that dog but <laughs> yeah, bye bye van bye bye van thank you <laughs> i mean just look at the cute little cooper oh he loves the new motorhome so much yeah definitely made the right choice and speaking of choices i wanted tires that perhaps were slightly more suited to sand mountain roads and snow so what you're looking at now is a set of badass tyres to take us to some epic places. That's Cooper's new comfy spot. So we can look out the window, see what's going on. That's because he can see into the van. Yeah, because he gets like the full view of what's going on from there. So this is going to be my first night of cooking properly in the van. We are having all of those things. So I'm going to turn that into um, chicken stuffed with cheese wrapped in bacon with sautéed potatoes and a creamy mushroom sauce. All in one pan. Oh, 
what the shroom is in. Well, there's some room in the pan. <laughs> shroom, there's not much room now. Hey, all the bacon as well. But everything's better with bacon. No, taste bacon. Not waste bacon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I eat it now? <laughs> yeah, go on then. Oh yeah, put that down and get your tea. With my arm still playing up, it was all down to Mandy to get all the electrics upgraded and then we struggled getting this solar panel up on the roof to make it so that we could spend our lockdown time off grid in our motorhome. Our first month of lockdown in the car park was not ideal making any excuse that we possibly could to get out and get a bit of exercise, regardless of what Cooper thought about it. But after that time, my arm had healed and some lovely people got in touch and said that they'd just bought a campsite and that we could come and stay on the campsite during the remaining time of lockdown. So that's where we're heading right now. Morning, babe. Morning. Happy birthday. Thank you. What's happened to the... Excuse the mess, everyone. We've got the... We're just doing the usual morning thing. Yeah, we've just, thing. just actually woken up, really. Anyway, I thought, what do you think of my new watercolours? They're nice, aren't they? They're nice, actually. Yeah, you did really well. I like that one. <laughs> oh, what a lovely sunset. Campfire. Really is the best place we've ever been, this one. And today is Cooper's 11th birthday. Anybody? Yeah, look, little tails going. Cooper's 11 today, he's a good boy. Are you 11, baby? Oh, oh he's such a sweetie. Oh, he's, he's a such good a sweetie. boy. Well, this is Cooper's little pamper day now. He's getting his nails done. Another day of his hair cut. Get his ears done. And look how chilled he looks. Oh. We'd had a great time on a campsite. It was absolutely fantastic that we were given the opportunity to stay there during the lockdown. However, lockdown was over. So it's time to get on the road and get doing what we originally started to do in our new motorhome, which is go and explore. <laughs> So exciting! We're off on those holidays! We're off on those holidays! We've just been and spent a ridiculous amount of money in Tesco because <laughs> um, we needed everything. So, is the world back to normal? We ask ourselves. Yeah, I'd say the world's back to normal. I've been on almost full power and then beeping at her. Oi, slow down! I only use my assist when pulling out roads. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're fit, I'm not. What you can see in the background is Hampton Court Palace. And we're absolute skin flint, so we're not paying to get in. Well, so we're just going to ride around the outside. I love it around here. It's very, uh, very posh. It's been an absolutely lovely three nights we've stayed here. Look at those clouds in the background too. So uh, we're just getting ready. As you can see, Mr. Mr. Gadget getting ready to do his thing. So water and toilet empty in time before we uh, before we get on our way. Another epic little sunset. At Stonehenge. Cooper's enjoying it now. It's nice and cool. Good boy. But yeah. Epic sunset though. See, you looking glamorous even when you're doing the washing up. <laughs> oh. got myself a new toy it is mine it's not john's even though john is the king of fire we have sticks i have got the most handsome assistant you're so beautiful aren't you buddy sounds good to me i'm pretty impressed with that i'm gonna make myself a coffee a bad view to wake up to, is it, really? Certainly not. 
I just can't imagine that other people wouldn't want to experience this. I know. And it's kind of the only thing you'd really experience in a van. Yeah. Not for the fact that you're sitting in the window looking out of a van. <laughs> <laughs> not bad at all, that baby. No. Not bad at not all. Not bad at all. This is good. So it shows you where all the toilets are in the Highlands. But if you need to do it, then go to the loo 50 metres away from water or buildings, take the trowel, dig a hole or bag it and carry it out. So we're doing some... We're doing some <laughs> edit that bit out. Start that again. <laughs> so we're doing something new this time that we never thought to do before, which is crazy. But we're waving at camper vans and motorhomes in France and they're waving back. Look at those crepes. Oh, yeah. It's a galette. Oh, yeah, galette. Sorry. <laughs> Chubby home. So there's the van. I don't know if you can see it. But then you've got this lovely lake. This exercise equipment everywhere. Well, that looks like a fun thing to play. Just was this. This is like limbering up. So you limber up for it. And if you're good, you get to a supplissement de tronc. It's not what it's called in my van. <laughs> morning. <laughs> morning, Kim. Well, Kim, were you fast asleep with the rain? Were you? Oh, poor Coopy got woken by the rain in the night. I think we need to go and find nicer weather. I think so too, as much as I love. Northern France can't yeah. see it because of the rain. We've so had three days of this. This is what you call contactless getting bread for a euro. So let's just do. Hey, look at that. So bread. Merci beaucoup. That is the coolest thing ever. If you can see there, John, Adventure Boy, talking with Lou, Adventure Girl, and M, who's probably as nervous as me. I don't want to drive up there while John flies his drone. I don't particularly want to drive up there if John was not flying his drone. Now look, there's a drone. You see? Oh, he's landing it. How's your first off-roading experience at Van? Never taken my house off-roading and don't like it brilliant stuff so you're gonna drive yeah <laughs> yay yay it's quite easy to get it on it really let's take that one yeah <laughs> <laughs> some people were crying weren't they Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, where we've ended up in spain can't really argue with that can we bit of a different beach shot i don't think we've ever done where we can't see our faces before no it's a bit weird isn't it yeah. oh look at that Maybe an earpiece. He lets you yeah. talk to him anything because <laughs> then you can get away with pretty much anything. Hiya, Bab. Hiya, how you doing? I'm alright, you're looking gorgeous today, baby. Oh, thank you. Now, especially because right over your shoulder, some beer. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> alright then. One of the things that we like best about living in a van and touring around is the fact that you can change your mind at the drop of a hat. John's just seen snow capped mountains. So where do you think John wants to go next? Mountains. What doesn't Mandy like? Cold. Cold. <laughs> so we have made it up to the top of a very, very big mountain. So my altitude is 2,517.81 metres. There are clouds underneath us. Where's it, QP? Oh, is he going to get it? Oh, where's it? He can snow. Get it. Um, <laughs> just a few sheep. Oh, would you look at that? What a way to wake up in the morning. Andy's just sat there on the bench in the mountains, as a view, drinking a glass of Prosecco or something like that, reading a Kindle. Oh, look, 
Oh, he's going in for the picture. Hi, Mr. Goat. Hello. It's like a boy band. There's another one. That's where the bells were coming from. Look at this one. He's having a cheeky jump on some trees there. Eh? Why are you having morning shock? <laughs> morning, ladies. Morning. Morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what an epic place this is. So look where I am. Look. That looks like a kayak to me. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> Sexy dance. Sexy dance. Oh, I love it. Tell me what, what do you want? I, d I don't know, baby. I, I can't tell. Sausages. Sausages. No. Beach. What? The beach. The beach. A ball. You're such a bad influence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> 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 It's like a lava lamp. Look. <laughs> Christmas Eve Eve. No, this is Christmas Eve, babe. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah I am getting so confused. <laughs> Honestly, van life is great. Oh, it's wonderful. But this is, um, this is where we're spending Christmas Eve. On a beach. With a lovely view. In a nice little restaurant. Coop is here too. Thank yes, he is. He's all wet. Yeah. And we're going to enjoy some nice food and cervezas. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. This is uh, Mandy's crazy idea. Of going for a Christmas Day swim. It's cold. <laughs> we got presents for Coopy. We got presents for Coopy. Oh, oh, what is it, huh? Is it, buddy? It's a nerdy snack. Oh. Nom nom, good boy. He's going to stay right there and eat it then. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at these. For she scale. <laughs> no. Burger, pulled pork, bacon, cheese, onion rings. I can't talk properly because I'm drooling. No. They say it's one of those what a difference a day makes. I mean the colours. Yeah. Look, let's show the colours. What a treat that is. So not only can you see Gibraltar, the top of Africa there as well. Looks like it's so close. Got the mountains and everything. So right over there is the Sierra Nevada where we went up the other week where the snow is at the top. You know go Portugal coop. Coopy. Portugal? Yeah? Got a cold nose, Daddy. Oh, cold nose. So we are hightailing it out of Portugal right now, back to Spain. There's another COVID lockdown. This is put across pretty much every European country. So we had to get all the way back through Portugal, Spain and France to get into the UK to meet a deadline before we weren't allowed back into the country. So we went to the last place that looked after us during lockdown, Willow Fields. Making the most of things, aren't we, maybe? Aye, we are, because otherwise, well, we'd go a bit, a little, a bit crazy. There's only so much Netflix. We've already nearly watched most Netflix. So, <laughs> and we've yeah. chilled that much that, you know, there's not much chilling that to do. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> terrible. <laughs> so this is my lovely gift from John. Low-fat hot chocolate. Fake Baileys. What else could you possibly need? It's going well. That all should be in there. Uh, yeah, that's very powerful, that thing. As you can see, the fire's on the go. We've got some cooking to do. <gasps> Get the yolks and everything. What about presentation? I suppose the six, the seven, six. seven. So I'm well proud of dippy eggs. Oh my God, babe. 
perfectly cooked. Ooh, yeah. I'd be proud of this. I've never cooked gammon before. I've never cooked potatoes before. And I've never cooked eggs ever. So this meal is a a big deal. Because mm. not only have I never cooked any of this before, but I had to cook it over an open fire. And you've got far fewer hairs on that arm than you had when you started off. Yeah. A bit of an update, folks. Uh, we're outside of Vets. And um, yeah, went for a little walk this morning. Coop sniffed up, literally two minutes out of the van. Didn't stop sneezing for about five minutes and then started sneezing blood and his face is all swelling up. They've checked in his mouth and can't see anything there. Mm. And there's no damage to his top palate, apparently. So he's back. He's looking a bit drowsy. Got a tail's wagging though. That's what the, the vets took out of his nose, bless him. She said that came out very cleanly in one go that was a scary time so that's us it is at the show now we're at the bbc outside broadcasting unit at the adventure overland show Finally, all the COVID restrictions have just been removed. It's time to go on an epic adventure. Da, 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 da. Drum roll, please. Let's see where we're going to go. So we're starting in England, and then we're going into France, Belgium, Netherlands, Germany, up into Denmark, over to the other island of Denmark, over into Sweden, up Sweden a bit, to get into Finland... Then from Finland, another ferry crossing down to Estonia, through Latvia, Lithuania, and into Poland. Down from Poland, into Slovakia, Hungary, Croatia, Bosnia, Serbia, Romania, down into Bulgaria, to Turkey. From there, we're going into Greece and back to the UK. There we go. Paperwork in hand. He's had his little health check. We've got everything now. So we can go! So the reason for the really early start this morning was that we need to do laundry and we found somewhere slightly different. This is a cafe, and it's called the Laundry Cafe in the middle of Copenhagen. Are you excited? I am. What more excited about Sweden or putting the Swedish flag on? Putting the Swedish flag on! So, there we go. New flag day and, as far as we're concerned, country number seven. Yeah. I've had to translate absolutely everything. There are a few things that have got English on them perfectly well, which is obviously ignorant of me and brilliant for the Swedish to make sure that that's done. So thank you very much, Lidl. Just a quick stop at Lidl's just to pick up some uh, groceries. It's a Lidl stop at Lidl, actually. <laughs> and um, Mandy's picked up a bar of plop. <laughs> <laughs> and on the receipt, it says plop caca. Plop caca. <laughs> so there's my giggle for the day. Yeah. So I made this about a month ago, you two made months it. ago. You but made it. We made this. Yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't want to waste a decent bottle of whiskey, so I got this from Aldi. Um, and that top bit, uh, obviously I drank some of the whiskey first to taste it to make sure it was all right. And the top bit is pretty much nothing but a pack of Werther's Original. Smoke in the eyes, bad. Wow. Uh, Shit. Campfire weird whiskey. Smoked out. Yeah. Bad day. Come on, then. Cheers. 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 Mm. Ooh. Ooh. That's not bad. Is that <laughs> I don't really like sweet drinks, but that ain't bad. I just want a Werther now. Mm. Different, mm. isn't it? It is different. Oh, 
It's a shop. Oh, that was Norway. We've made it to the Arctic Blooming Circle. Yay! You stick it eye! It's my first fjord. And I've said it before, but we drove our home here to see those views to stop for a day or two. That's why van life is so unique. It's not always brilliant, but for traveling it is. For traveling, I don't think there's a better way to experience the planet. Hey buddy, what do you think? You've been in the water. Yeah, you have, haven't you? It's new country day! New country day! Which means new flag day. Which means new flag day and means that very shortly I'm going to get C5 Christmas. Uh, <laughs> I know him. Arctic Circle Info Tower and Safari Centre, Santa Claus Village, Santa Claus Holiday Village, the Super three elves. <gasps> Meet Santa here. Oh my goodness. Do you need some more? I hope you came here for the whole winter time. We're going south for the first time ever on this trip, I think. New country day! New country day! And today it is... Estonia! Yay! Estonia, baby! This is it now. <laughs> we have two similar flags for Latvia. It's one of those two. I'm going to go for the darker red. That's wonky, but we're going to go with it. We're going to go with it. It gives it character. We needed a rest, so Latvia's given us a bit of a rest. Yeah. We've got something to see in uh, Lithuania. The Hill of Crosses. Hill of Crosses, yeah. Another day, another new flag. Ooh, we filled the second row. And then literally a few hours later, we were in Poland. There we go. Poland is 13. What a wonderful spot this is, isn't it? Oh, this is brilliant. Love this. I've missed these. We've been a bit urban the last few nights, haven't we? Yeah. And I just think it's nice to get out of, uh, out of the way a little bit. Absolutely out of the way. Well, that's me out of breath. I don't know if you can see those uh, railings just down there. That's uh, what we've just had to walk up. We came from that gap in the trees there. As they say, the views are worth it. Champion dog goes to Super Goopy. Goopy. Oh. I need to get a shake for a good boy. Another day and another country. Another flag. And this one, it's Slovakia. There's some countries that we've visited where I've had a thought of a country in my head, like what it's going to be like. And I think both Mandy and I had no idea that uh, Slovakia would be like this. No. Like, no idea at all. It's just stunned us. We are currently on the top of a very beautiful Slovakian mountain. We did some cracking roads yesterday. Absolutely brilliant roads to get up here. But now we're up here, we decided we're going to change our route map. We are currently here in Slovakia, just outside this little town of Preslov here. And now we are going to go into Hungary, into Romania, Bulgaria, into Turkey, back out of Turkey into Greece, then Albania, Montenegro, tiny tiny little bit of Bosnia and into Croatia and that's the change this still remains to be seen over here <laughs> so I just took QP out for just a little walk as I was talking to you guys and uh, he does this all the time when he doesn't want to get in the van and it makes me feel a little bit sad but he's also very cheeky I don't know if you can spot him <laughs> 
He's just got comfy. He's lying down. He ain't coming anywhere near me. Now, this is my favourite thing about shopping in Europe. Pickles. Pickles. Just rows and rows of pickles. <laughs> a few little social strangeness things going on as well yeah. where big differences between those that have and those that haven't yeah. yeah one thing we've both been bad about and also thankful for is um the wonderful english that everyone else manages to be able to speak oh it's amazing everywhere we go there seems to be a conversation stilted but in english yeah and so. you see you hear all sorts of different accented voices mm. speaking English to be understood so yeah. it's really good and we are very fortunate yes for that. we speak English yeah. yeah we stood at the back of the van well you know what day it is it's new flag day look how it started off nice and neat there and yeah, now it's look we're halfway up so if you just done what i said and put me here we wouldn't have had a problem that's because you're a shorty and they fit better there for you why not why is that an issue you shorty. shortest shortest yeah <laughs> So the one thing we have noticed about traveling around because we're going through lots of small villages in Romania is we're getting the impression that people don't see many motorhomes traveling around here because normally you know after Covid and all of that we've got um, used to people glaring at you as you're driving around whereas now it's literally like a the hell is that? So this is the Black Sea in Romania. So this is home for a, a day or two maybe and then we'll be uh, heading off to Bulgaria. Cupy, where's the sea on a beach? Oh yeah we brought you to a beach. Yeah look at this. This is us leaving Romania and entering Bulgaria. It's like country number 17. Country number 17, it looks like we've got to go through a bath. must admit I think I am slightly in love with Nesabar. It's just little bits of ruins and these lovely quaint buildings. I'd say 10% of the shops are open, maybe three restaurants on the whole little bit. But if you feel like having a holiday to Bulgaria and sunny beach has been an option, come here instead. I also think that I've got myself a little bit of a problem because I'm finding that all the countries that I go to, so in Hungary I got some beautiful wine, I got some schnapps from uh, Slovakia because I was told that that was the best thing that they had and I've just picked up a bottle of cherry brandy. So the van is getting weighed down with all of these booze, all of the booze from all the different places. Nesbar, tell you, brilliant. Fisherman Mandy, Fisher Person Mandy, Fisher Price Mandy, <laughs> <laughs> Fisher Priceless Mandy. Oh, you see, you're getting better. Take a silly question, but you've not caught anything. No. Should have a helmet on. It's the last time I did this, I was about 12. Oh, oh! I hit a stone. <laughs> oh, no. That was all right. Are you all right? Yeah. Didn't square if I just slapped. Oh. Oh, no. Wounds. It goes with me. Uh, okay. See that one there? Did that fishing yesterday. Oh, are you ready, Moopy? Ready. Right, there we go. Hey, all sorted out. All sorted out. Yeah. Rich passport to the rescue once again. Yeah. So all done, and we can go to Turkey. All the arms down. Is that it? Serious business. <laughs> all right then. Yeah. Turkey. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, hello, is Mehaba. Well, there's, there's a few. So, first you have Mehaba, 
Mahaba. And then you have Salam. Salam. And then what's the other one? Hello. Um, hello. I wonder what it, I wonder how it's pronounced. Let's have a listen. Hello. Hello. A bit closer. Okay. Good. Yep. Hello. Thank you. Cool. It's a sick lash. <laughs> Remembered it as we drove off. I am, baby. Right. Turkey. Woohoo! Country Tur number 18. 18. One thing we've noticed around here is how cool the traffic lights are. So it's not just a traffic light, you get a standard traffic light as you normally would, but the whole pole that the traffic light's attached to, and then there's a bit that goes right over the top of the road, that all lights up as well. So 52 litres of premium quality Shell diesel, £30.25. Get in! Well, this lady is making some fresh goslemi for me and John. Cool. Good call on the spot, literally we're on goslemi spot. Let's get it! So we're back out this morning. The orange couple have decided to join us because, um, well, the alcohol's worn off now. <laughs> you on YouTube? What's your YouTube channel? Oh, come on, make me look a little bit taller. There we go. <laughs> it's very important, don't you know? That's stealth camping, folks. Look at that. Woohoo! making a few roadside purchases in a traffic jam and see melons and bananas and oranges so far see this is the difference between John and I John out there getting pictures me inside getting pictures it's freaky cold but look snow things to not be surprised to see in Turkey sheep in the back of a car video anything without this one coming in this is a uh, deep <laughs> someone's happy just having a nice stop for the night in this lovely little park up and uh, the police drive around with the lights on all the time it means they're on duty but I think so far you can see in the top right hand corner, there's John and four, five policemen. I think they just wanted a chat. You reckon? I reckon that it's like, oh, oh, are they from, uh, where is that? Is it German? Is it Ukraine? They all they... seem smiley. Yeah, 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 totally friendly. Did you mention Manchester United? Yeah. He <laughs> said, said City. And I went, City or United? And he just laughed. I think that's it. Yeah, I don't think we have to do anything else. <laughs> to make sure we've both got the right scouts out of Turkey and into Greece. Yay! Woohoo! Country number 19. 19. That is our first uh, fill up back in euros again. So that is 95 euros. I don't think we've spent that amount of money in three weeks of driving in Turkey. Yamas, baby. Yamas. Yamas.
It's our last night at this little park up. Oh, yeah? Panorama? Pano on purpose. Pano on purpose. <laughs> yes, because a lot of the time when she's filming, I either get a slow-mo, or recently, time I've been lapse. getting time lapses. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, I'm going to enjoy the sunset, and we'll catch you tomorrow. No doubt, a border crossing or something like that. <laughs> Yep. We are in Albania. Country number. Country number 20. <laughs> so there we go. We are in Montenegro. Country number 21. My age. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Another country day, and today it is Croatia. All right, let's put the flag on. Cool, so that is country number 22. <laughs> <laughs> Losing count now. We're in Bosnia. Country number 23. Yay. Woo, woo, woo. How was your 20 minutes in Bosnia, babe? <laughs> uh, we saved a bit on fuel. <laughs> fuel was cheaper in Bosnia, so we filled up on fuel. And now uh, the guy spoke to the fuel station, very friendly, spoke English. Slovenia, baby. Slovenia. It's not something you will see every day. Right then. Let's get some gear out. Yay! Timber! <laughs> he bought you that, eh? Who? He did. Yeah? Yeah, who good, thought, who good thought present? it was a stupid idea? <laughs> <laughs> who thought you'd never use it? Well, it's been used for trimming down trees before, but not quite of this magnitude. Sometimes it's a bit mean to hope, isn't it? A little slip, you know, comedy effect. Some people, I tell you, wishing the husband to fall in the water. <laughs> Things I have to put up with, folks, I tell you. We'd been ignoring a lot of signs for the last few months. Things that should have been obvious. A lot of frustration, a lot of anger, misunderstanding. And we needed to fix this. We'd rushed through the last few countries just trying to ignore what we knew we needed to fix. Our marriage. So we headed back to England for a bit of time apart. Yeah, we need to let you know what's going on. Um, as you well have worked out, in Austria, um, we reached a point, and uh, that point almost meant Mandy getting a flight back to the UK. Yeah. We fell out big time. We want to save the marriage, because mm. still love each other. Um, but that looks like we need to give each other space. Um yeah, so you've decided you're going to get your own van. So this is exciting, isn't it? This is Bumble, my new van. So this is new. Hello. Are you excited? What are you doing up on the chair? You're looking out the window. What can you see? What can you see? 
Can you see outside? So Moopy's getting ready to go on his holidays with Daddy. So it's time for a holiday haircut. Yeah. Good boy. That smell nice. That's Daddy's pizza. That is better than it was last night, cooked in the oven. I've had a lovely day today. I've uh, been for a big walk with Jem and the weather has been fabulous. I managed to find a mirror for my van, which I was looking for, and it is perfect. Picked the grandson up from, uh, from school, all the good things, get in the van, get myself a drink, think, ah, oh, that's a bit warm, isn't it? The fridge is foofed. So, in a nutshell, I am well pissed off. Like, like, well pissed off. Had a cry. Kind of pissed off. I did what any normal person would do, really. And I phoned John. You made it then? I did. What are you going to do when I'm in Ireland or Scotland? Um, I know loads of people who can fix vans. Cool. <laughs> It'll be fine, we'd have done everything by then. Bumble would have had its hissy fits over and done with and everything sorted and, and everything will be running like a dream. Okay. Okay. Like it was when you left. Like it was when I left. Not but six, five days ago. Good morning. Well, uh, we are off convoying again. Um, we've got a little bit of a drive, an hour and five minutes. Um, we are going to meet up with some good friends of ours, which will be lovely. Um, the weather is good. It is warm today. Um, I've only hurt myself twice this morning. Once um, something hit me in the head, it fell off the side, and I hurt my finger trying to get my water cap off to fill my water up before we left. So now I think that's that out of the way. <laughs> This is not the way I intended to start off this video. I was on my way to Channel Tunnel in France. Go and watch the Tour de France, me and Coop. Uh, there was a very nasty crashy noise from the engine. It transpires that the gearbox has blown. I'm just sat here now waiting for them to tell me how much it's likely to be. I'm going to phone Mandy now and explain what's going on. She was thinking of heading down this way, which is about two hours away. Um, so. Yeah, maybe three of us in Bumble rather than getting an Airbnb or a hotel for a couple of nights. Thank you, Mrs. Rescue Bumble. About time I did it for you, isn't it? Yeah, uh, you do it for me a lot. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I think you've rescued me enough in this. Yeah. It's uh, nice to return the favour. Good morning, everybody. A very nice sleep was had here last night. Um, and today it's a Barnstable day. Unfamiliar gear. No, quick up brilliant. Uh, I was brave when I put this on. I am not feeling brave now. I am, however, texting people with my backside. Oh dear. Naked is very happy. I think... I think the sea doesn't scare me anymore. That's a freaking revelation on its own, isn't it? But oh, my shoulders and my legs and my bum are killing me, so... It's all good. I would... I like this beaten up feeling because it feels like I am doing something with my day. Good morning, folks, and um, welcome to France. Thought I'd get out on my bike. There's a Movember charity, which, you know, probably should take part in because I've not had a mo for a while. This week, they're raising awareness of the 100 men a week that uh, take their life um, because they're generally suffering from mental health issues. The challenge is to do 100 miles in a week on your bike. It's Italy. It's new country day. Therefore, it's new flag day. Good 
good morning folks and um yeah that's the Stelvio Pass or rather that is down there and um I'm gonna go ride it Coop and I drove all the way through Europe enjoyed lots of cycling and lots of walks even got as far as Norway right at the very top of Europe but after 14 years of epic adventures seeing many oceans and generally having the best time a dog could ever have traveling the road unfortunately Coop passed away one night when we're enjoying a nice peaceful night in Sweden bye bye everybody bye bye Hi folks. Hello. Everything that's happened recently, um, we've just needed to take a break. Mm. Still trying to deal with Coop not being around. We've sold my van, our van, the big the van. The big van. I saw it as a good way to do a bit of a reset, I guess is the way to call it. Yeah. As a way to keep my mind occupied, I bought a builder's van and converted it to a camper van. And then we found an industrial unit to move into where something else happened too. A little surprise is that I've sold a bumble. So yeah, for the last month, I would say, it's got quite intense, hasn't it? Well, it's been quite funny, hasn't it? Because we've been going through and you're like, right, okay, I'm going to do that. And I'm like, but do you want to do that? Yeah. Because if it was me and you're just like, oh no, I've got a new van. <laughs> Which means... <laughs> Which means I'm building a new van. So we each drew up a plan about what we were going to build, when we were going to build it, and then pulled whoever's van wanted to work inside into the unit and then the other person went outside maybe did some other work and we did this over a few weeks each getting our vans ready for something that was coming up but we were learning as we we're going you know picking up new skills and essentially you know learning by correcting our own mistakes so that's me just setting off from the unit i'm in the netherlands right now it's been a few countries since i last saw you and a few hours i am on my way to the ukraine I've been asked to come to Ukraine by a friend who's ex-military and now works as a security advisor for aid agencies. And they're distributing all sorts of required equipment in Ukraine. And they thought that it would be interesting for me to come along and experience that. They've got to take care of me. And um, I appreciate that. And wherever they say I need this, then I need this. If you don't see me in it, happy days. If you do, not happy days. So the interesting thing right now is there's no power on anywhere so traffic lights aren't working uh, the sirens have just been going off so we're just outside this hospital now um we're just going to go inside and donate some of the equipment to them so a different see a hospital with sandbags on the windows though so just been told this is the oxygen for the hospital and this is the blast wall my mind's off something else right now because then you see the state of um the hospital um, all the staff trying to look after everybody, not just the babies, but the people inside as well. Obviously, I think there's a, one more stop we're going to make. And then um, after that, we're going to head back. Just stop for a bit of a break. I was just sort of like sat there of McDonald's thinking how surreal that was. The message of this particular sort of, you know, trip that I've been on is all you need is to be you, regardless of how big the task might sound to travel to a country that's currently at war and unfortunately take not as many things as you want but still take enough that they help people out so much that they want to show the gratitude by having the government write you a letter and that for me is just i just think it's brilliant sorry <laughs> Having these camper vans in the unit during the winter months has been so productive. We've been able to get on with every single task, regardless of the weather outside, making sure that the camper vans are ready to go and bespoke to what each of us need. And in my case, I want to put on the back of my camper van every country we've visited so far with a bit more room for the ones that are coming up too. So it's time to say goodbye to the unit, have a fire, 
with all the wood and little bits of scraps and everything that were left over and get out on the road and start traveling together, but in our separate camper vans, because that's just the way we are. Today is very exciting because we are going to France. 1920s, the next free one, so I'm choosing a 1920. This is the best bit now, is does Mandy get the same crossing? Do you get the 1920 as well? Yeah, I got the 1921. Woohoo! Oh yeah! Sadly Mandy's radio's gone flat. She's still there though. <laughs> There's a guy in the motorhome there and he's been trying to get out of the, off the grass. We've just woke up and John texts me saying, is that guy stuck? Because obviously he's on the other side of me. And, uh, and I said, yeah, it looks like he is. And the next thing, he walks over there with his, uh, with his tow rope, speaks to the guy. The guy nearly falls on his knees. I think he just thought he was stuck. And John's got the tow rope on straight in there. Straight in there to make sure he's uh, able to get him off. Oh, he's proper stuck. Oh, there we go. Stay the other way, pal. Stay the other way. There we go. And he's off. Look at that. One of the reasons why I love that man. I tell you. So we were in France, heading for the start of the Tour de France, which is actually here in Spain, where I am now, exploring the badlands of Spain, the desert of Spain, the Bandera Feliz. It was somewhere I've wanted to go for a long time, so I had to tick this off my list because it wasn't too far away from stage one of the Tour de France. This is just incredible. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. This is why I love the mountains. Just getting ready for the caravan. Clouds come in, so visibility is not great, but at least it isn't raining. We have got double layers on because it's a bit cool. That's seven degrees last night, positively wintry. It was, and it had the duvet and everything. I know. <laughs> My goodness. Got some cookies, key rings, shot glass, phone oh. bag. I thought it was funny because they enjoyed throwing things in my van because the were door was open. Target practice, wasn't they? They really were. They knocked my camera off and everything. Definitely That's... target practice. Yep. We decided not to follow the entire Tour de France route for this year, just first few stages, so we'd go off and do some tourist things. They've even put out the red carpet for us. Oh, it's so kind. I mean, it's a very, very, very nice place, but we didn't expect to get this kind of treatment. No, it's been been welcoming from the very start, yeah. so this has been just like an icing on the cake. Yeah. Very nice. Yes. Very thoughtful. Yes, thank you, Luxembourgish. And this is where you will always find Mandy. <laughs> Looking at the tap shops. Where you got to? Ah, what a glorious day, though. <laughs> That's not a look, you know. No, don't start with that. Cut that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the Lake District. We are, surprise. And the weather's nice. <laughs> I mean, well. It is now. <laughs> yeah, hopefully for next year. It's a bit cold, hence mm. the big coats and everything. Um, but yeah, very nice. Yeah. So that lovely noise is um, the noisy fan on Monday's diesel heater. It needs replacing. Always causing trouble you, aren't you? Always, got to keep you on your toes, you see, because you know why. Go on. A board John's a dangerous John. <sighs> Sadly, I can't fix Mandy as easily as I can fix a heater. She's really suffering. Something's not right. 
and um, yeah we need to get some hospital appointments booked in to get to the bottom of this. All the way to the top. Full top. I tell you. It's quite steep up that very top bit, you know. I'll have to just put my hand out and just try and grab hold of him before he hits this tree. It should be right. If it, well, I put my feet down and it slowed me right up. So. Oh, cool. I can't drive two vans, you see. Jesus! Holy oh, shit! Oh, oh for break! 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 Oh, oh, oh! Oh, babe! Are you all right? Oh. Have I gone pretend to worry that you're all right? <laughs> <laughs> and it was the biggest tree you hit as well, you know. None of these little ones that might bend no. a bit. Well, you know, I need someone to stop me, don't I? <laughs> Feet, John. Feet. Uh, anyone fancy sledging? No. <laughs> I think if we do, we need to buy a sledge. Proper sledge. With handles and Hand brakes. And brakes, yeah. Morning. Morning, how are you doing? I'm alright, how are you? I'm good, town. I like this spot then. I think it's one of my favourites. Yeah. Yeah. It's peaceful, isn't it? Yeah, apart from your diesel here. Epic or what? It's cold, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's giving me my first answer to everything because I'm not in Spain. Oh. <laughs> it is breathtaking. Everywhere you look, it literally is 360 degree views, isn't it? Yeah. It's stunning. But then all I've said on all my videos so far is it doesn't matter what the weather's been like, Scotland has blown me away. Our new year started off with a few visits to hospitals uh, to get some tests done on Monday to see if they could fix or at least find out what was going on that's the one but after many hospital visits we were told just leave the country go on your trip uh, if there's anything important we'll get in touch and that's exactly what we did we headed straight to portugal to get some sun and see some friends Well, we finally made it to Portugal. Um, it's been a day and a little bit since we got here. And this morning we had a call uh, about the results. Yeah, we've actually now got to go straight back to the UK for treatment for cancer. So, um, we've had a few days to think about it. And um, it's not been a fun few days, that's no. for sure. It's, uh, <laughs> we're kind of going through all the bits because there's still a whole lot we don't know. There's, um, which is good and bad. So today's the day. It is. It is. And it feels a bit uh, weird. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's almost to the day three months since we had that phone call in portugal so what do you reckon about three hours of chemo yep like first day of school i've got my banana in my bag Shit. <laughs> i'm gonna be teacher's pet i've got a banana in my bag have you yeah right. and probably need feeding you know we don't need all of this and hungry monday at the same no. time been a couple of months now and Mandy's been on chemotherapy and radiotherapy it's towards the end of June which means it's my birthday and we thought we'd nip out for uh, a nice burger and some donuts despite all the treatment and everything that Mandy's been going through she's been adamant that she just want to sit around and be moping around so we've been out on cycle rides we've been at air shows 
but Mandy's still really struggling. She's struggling to do anything for more than a few minutes without feeling really ill. She's got a lot of pain inside and she's just really, really not herself. The ringing of the bell symbolizes that your cancer treatment is finished. But that's far from the end of it. Um, in fact, there's a period after the cancer treatment finishes that you actually start to feel worse. Um, we'd hoped we'd spend some time in Cornwall to help Mandy rehabilitate. And also our friends, John and Tash, um, had recently gone through something similar where John had got sepsis, gone into hospital, and then they found out he got leukemia. But within two days of arriving in Cornwall, Mandy was feeling really, really ill and she was in a lot of pain in the tummy. We unfortunately ended up in A&E where they ran lots of tests and after around about 10 days uh, said that they needed to operate and that Mandy had a burst ovarian cyst that had caused sepsis. She spent quite a few days in uh, critical care and then around about two and a half weeks after that in hospital wards where she was recovering from not only now cancer treatment but major abdominal surgery and sepsis. So I rewind the clock five years. Knowing the information we've got now, would we make the same decision by giving our jobs up, the house, living in a camper van, going doing this epic travel, knowing that Cooper wouldn't be around forever either, and knowing the ill health that had kind of guided our decision would eventually catch up with us anyway. Would it make any difference? Would we still make the choice 
to go on the road, enjoy life while we could, and get some memories. And I think, well, if you've watched this video, I think you know the answer to that already. <laughs>